Have you seen this word before? Maybe not. It's WYSIWYG. It's not really a real word, but a WYSIWYG is a program or an editor that allows the person who's creating a document or a website to see what it will ultimately look like because of the interface that's used. And so WYSIWYG is a, uh, an acronym that stands for what you see is what you get. And so in, instead of having to use all kinds of computer language and that sort of thing, it shows what it is you're creating because you see what you get. And so this acronym is kind of an interesting one, especially when you think of it in terms of our life as God's people. Are we wissywig? <laughs> what you see is what you get. We should be. We should be all you know, editing our own human programs in that way, that what you see is Christ-like, what you see is godly character, what you see is really who we really are, that we're not hypocritical, that we're not faking, we're not phonies, that we're real people striving to put on the character of Jesus Christ. Paul told Titus about this. In the book of Titus, he, he writes something interesting to him in Titus chapter 2, beginning in verse 7. Now, Paul didn't know the term wissywig, but see if it fits in this situation. He writes this, In all things, show yourself to be a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, incorruptibility. He also says sound speech that cannot be condemned, that the one who is a, an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say about you. You see, that's, in a sense, wissywig, that we are who we show we are. We are who we seem to be. We're not one thing at church and a different thing at home. We're not acting one way when we're at work and then acting a different way when we're around other people of God. What you see is what you get. Let's make that our goal. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.